This is question 37 of civil engineering paper gate 2014 for noon session. Group 1 contains representative load settlement curves for different modes of bearing capacity failures of sandy soil. Group 2 enlist the various failure characteristics match the load settlement curves with the corresponding failure characteristics. So, group 1 P curve J, Q curve K, R curve L. In group 2, 1 no apparent heaving of soil around the footing, 2 Rankine's passive zone develops imperfectly, 3 well defined slip surface extend to ground surface. So, in this question, a uh, figure is given, uh, given which is depicting few load versus settlement curves and uh, two groups are given group 1 and group 2. So, in group 1 uh, the uh, name of the curve and in group 2 the failure characteristics are given. We need to do the correct match between group 1 and group 2. So, this question is from the topic of uh, failure of soils. Uh, so, you may study about different modes of failures uh, soil and uh, other related uh, terms in detail by watching lecture 8 foundation engineering introduction geotechnical engineering to foundation engineering by professor dilip kumar bad at khadakpur so when a footing is loaded suppose when a this is a footing and when a footing is loaded then a failure pattern is observed and uh, for that uh, if we uh, draw the load versus settlement curve, then we can get different types of curves depending upon the soil and the dimension of the foundation. So, uh, generally we study three types of failure, general shear failure, uh, local shear failure and punching shear failure. So, in general shear failure, uh, there are three distinct zones can be observed. So, zone 1 is called wedge zone, zone 2 is called radial shear zone and zone 3 is called Rankine's passive zone. So, in general shear failure, we can see there is a, a bulging of soil um, around the footing and if we observe the load versus settlement curve, then we can get a peak. We, we are getting a peak that is called ultimate bearing capacity and after that peak, uh, this, there are settlement without giving load. So, that is uh, termed as general shear failure. In local shear failure, only two uh, distinct zone is observed and zone 3 which is Rankine's passive zone uh, is seen imperfectly. That is uh, slightly ground bulging can be seen, slightly this ground heaving can be seen and if we see the load versus settlement curve, then there will be uh, various uh, points where the uh, where the slopes behavior are changing. So, we can say there are uh, numbers of failure occur in local shear failure and uh, corresponding to that we can get numbers of ultimate bearing capacity also. Uh, and if we talk about the punching shear failure, there is only one zone that is wedge zone formed beneath the footing and in this type of um, failure, there is a penetration of the footing below the ground and if we observe the load versus settlement curve, then the slope uh, we will get a slope in which uh, or we will get a curve in which we cannot get a ultimate bearing capacity. This uh, the settlement will be increasing uh, as the load is given. So, there will be some penetration of the footing into the ground and in this type of failure, we cannot observe a uh, ultimate bearing capacity and also we will not see any ground heaving uh, around the this uh, footing. So, all these failure patterns depending upon the uh, this uh, types of soil and the uh, foundation uh, dimensions. So, um, if we uh, see a chart which is uh, showing the failure is uh, depending on the relative density of sand and relative depth of foundation that is df by b. So, as per that we have also a chart which is showing the different failure pattern for different relative density value and df by b value. So, now coming to the question, 
कर्व जे सो कर्व जे वी कैन से दिस इज सोइंग द पंचिंग सियर फेलियर इन विच देर इज नो अपरेंट हिविंग ऑफ सॉइल अराउंड द फुटिंग यस सो कर्व जे कोरस्पॉन्ड्स टू वन कर्व के सो कर्व के इज टाइप ऑफ जनरल सियर फेलियर इन विच वी आर गेटिंग अ पीक विच इज सोइंग द अल्टीमेट बियरिंग कैपेसिटी एंड आफ्टर दैट द सेटलमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग विदाउट गिविंग लोड सो दैट इज जनरल सियर फेलियर एंड इन दिस टाइप ऑफ फेलियर वी विल सी देर विल बी ग्राउंड बल्जिंग अराउंड द फुटिंग सो कर्व के इज वेल डिफाइंड स्लिप सर्फेस एक्सटेंड टू द ग्राउंड सर्फेस यस सो कर्व के इज थ्री एंड कर्व एल विच इज गिविंग विच इज सोइंग और टेलिंग अबाउट द दिस लोकल सीयर फेलियर इन विच देर आर सम वेरियस फेलियर पैटर्न एंड इन दैट टाइप ऑफ फेलियर there will be slightly uh, ground bulging or we can say rankine specific zone develop imperfectly so curve l correspond to 2 so now if we check the options so p is 1 so p is 1 in given in option a and d q 3 uh, so q 3 is given in option uh, a only so this will be incorrect and r 2 so r2 is also given in option a so we can see the correct match is given in option a so option a will be the correct answer for this question thank you